And on to World Watch for this midday, nuclear experts believe Iran is still years away from building a nuclear bomb, but the rogue nation took another step in that direction today. CBS News correspondent Danielle Nottingham has the latest on the escalating tensions surrounding Iran's nuclear program. Iran claims it produced these nuclear fuel rods that engineers loaded into a reactor for the first time this morning. State TV broadcast the event, including live coverage of Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad attending a ceremony to mark the latest development. Iran also says it is now using advanced centrifuge technology, which could increase speed and production of enriched uranium. I think they want to signal clearly to the world that they are continuing to march toward a nuclear capability. President Ahmadinejad insists his nation's nuclear program is designed for peaceful purposes, like energy production. But many Western nations, including the U.S., suspect Iran is trying to make a weapon. The Obama administration is now weighing additional sanctions against Iran. The White House wants Iran kicked out of a financial group that is key to its overseas sale of oil. Experts say that could cripple Iran economically, but would almost certainly drive up the price of oil. There's concern that if sanctions don't work, Israel will attack its enemy. Both Israel and Iran accuse each other of recent attacks on nuclear experts and diplomats. Next week, members of the International Nuclear Watchdog Group will travel to Iran, hoping to negotiate an end to Iran's nuclear program and defuse the escalating tensions. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, the White House. The U.S. is keeping a close eye on that situation. Some military analysts believe Israel is preparing to attack Iran sometime in the spring.